In the 1950s, two former German colonies, Togo and the Tanganyika, then under the United Nations trusteeship, saw the late Mwalimu Julius Kambara Genyerero of Tanganyika and the late Gilchrist Olympio of Togo visit the United Nations in New York several times to seek the decolonization of their respective countries. They met the two young Africans, the late Dr. Eduardo Chivambo Mojane of Mozambique and Dr. Bennett Chizero of Zimbabwe, working at the United Nations then, they were assisted to free their countries. It was revealed by the Tanzanian foreign minister in his intervention that African solidarity changed the course of history of the continent. President Julius Kambarani Nyerere and the President Silvano Solimpio, when both of them regularly went to New York to the UN Trust Territory as former German colonies then under UN to struggle and urge for the independence of Tanganyika and Togo respectively. And you know, all the times they went there, they were hosted by Edward Shibango Mandelane and Bernard Chizero, who were then working at the UN. The swearing in of Dr. Musa Faki Muhammad for the second term as chairperson of the African Union and that of his deputy chairperson, Dr. Monique Nzanzabanga of Rwanda was one of the rituals which was undertaken today. The leaders of Africa debating on various issues. These are the Saharawi issue, the Palestinian issue, sanctions on Cuba, and the Mauritian plea for total decolonization of their territory. The Chagos Islands was also debated. At the end of the day, they all agreed that united they stand, divided they fall. In July 2021, African leaders are expected to meet to coordinate their activities in Addis Ababa. President Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa is to coordinate the strategies of fighting COVID-19 pandemic. Zimbabwe hosting the Museum for Liberation stands tall and is in sync with the theme on culture, heritage of the African people towards Vision 2063. President Felix Chisekedi of the DRC officially closed the summit as the new chairperson. This is a summit has been a major challenge uh, to demonstrate our common will uh, to look to the future uh, from the, the position of uh, efficiency and effectiveness. Your excellency is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of the items that we discussed at length during uh, the deliberations of uh, this assembly is undoubtedly the African Union response to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, whose uh, guidelines are uh, contained in the report presented by President Ramaphosa. Accordingly, we decided on actions to be undertaken, such as effective implementation of the continental uh, strategy. So as curtains came down, despite some of the technical glitches, people across Africa listened to their leaders, cut a new course in building a strong, vibrant and health Africa. Ruben Barwe, ZBC News, State House.